Professor Black Ops. You see it. Let's get it. Hyundai hacks the remote application. <laughs> People starting your car and driving away to, driving away with it through your apps. Now we gotta be safe out here. Once again, quick article. Let's check it out. Hyundai app bugs allow hackers to remotely unlock and start cars. Vulnerabilities in mobile app exposed Hyundai and Genesis car models after 2012 to remote attacks that allowed unlock unlocking and even starting the vehicle. Security researchers found issues and explored similar attacks uh, surfaced inside Series XM smart vehicle platform used in cars from other markets uh, from Toyota, Honda, Nissan, Acura, and Affinity. They allowed them to remotely unlock, start, locate, flash, and honk <laughs> the horn through their app once they hacked them. At this time, researchers have not published detailed uh, technical write-up for the findings, but shared some of their information on Twitter in two separate threads. Hyundai Issue is a mobile app of Hyundai and Genesis named My Hyundai and My Genesis allow authentication users to start, stop, lock, and unlock their uh, vehicles. This is a picture of the uh, the app, right, which is common. After intercepting the traffic generated from the two apps, the researcher analyzed it and was able to extract the API calls for further investigation. They found that validation of the owner is done based on the user's email, which was included in the JSON body of the post request. Next, the analyst discovered my Hyundai did not require email confirmations upon registration. They created a new account using the target email address with the additional control character at the end. Finally sent the HCTV request to Honda endpoint containing a spoof address and the JSON token and the victim address in the JSON body actually bypassing the validity check. So that shows you the client, the client ID, the username, that's the access token. Uh, that was the question on response of the side. You can see the VIN number, all right? So <laughs> they could just change that on the fly. To verify that they could use the this access for attack on a vehicle, they tried to unlock a Honda car used for a research. A few seconds later, the car unlocked. The multi-stat attack was eventually uh, baked into a custom Python script, which only needed a target email address for the attack. So this is my man right here, Sam Curry. <laughs> he did the uh, the research and did the Python script for it. The Series XM connected vehicle services a vehicle telemetry, tele, I'm sorry, vehicle service provider used by more than 15 car manufacturers. The vendor, the vendor claims to operate 12 million connected cars that run over 50 service under a unified platform. And you can hack them all now. The Yuga Lab analyst found that the mobile apps for the Acura, BMW, Hyundai, Infiniti, Jaguar, Land Rover, Lexus, Nissan, Subaru, and Toyota use the Sirius XM technology to implement remote vehicle management feature. They inspected the network uh, traffic from the Nissan app and find it was possible to send a forged ATTP request at the endpoint by only knowing the target VIN number. The response uh, to the unauthorized request contained the target number, phone number, and address of the vehicle's details. Considering that VINs are easy to locate on parked cars, typically visible on the plate where the dashboard meets the windshield, an attacker could easily access it. The identification number also are available on specialized car selling website for uh, for potential buyers to check the vehicle history. In addition to information disclosure, the request can also carry uh, commands to execute actions on the car. So that shows you the alert, uh, the information call. So that's the response right there. That's the Python, the Python script that fetches all known data for the given VIN. Uh, Blippi Computer has contacted Honda and Sirius XM to ask if the above issues have been exploited against real customers, but has not received a reply by publishing time. Before the posting of details, the researchers informed both Hyundai and Sirius XMs of the flaws and the associated risks. Two vendors have actually fixed the vulnerability. It's a uh, 12 one Researcher Sam Curry clarified to uh, Bleeping Computers, the commands on a Sirius XM can, be, can do sending the information comment for everyone with the car brand using XS Sirius XM on May past 2015. 
It could be remotely tracked, locked and unlocked, started and stopped, honks, and after headlight flashing just by knowing their VIN. The cars built uh, before that, most of them are still plagued by this into the Series XM, which would be possible to scan their VIN number through their windshield and take over their XM account, revealing their name, phone number, address, and billing information. The second update on the Hyundai spokesperson shared. Hyundai worked diligently with a third-party consultant to investigate the purported uh, vulnerability as soon as the researchers brought it to our attention. Importantly, other than the Hyundai vehicles and others belonging to researchers themselves, our investigation indicated that no customers' vehicles uh, or accounts was accessed by others as a result of this issue raised by the researchers. We also note that in order to employ this uh, vulnerability, the email address associated with the specific Hyundai account and vehicles where a specific web script employed by the researchers were required to be known. Nevertheless, Honda imp implemented countermeasures within days of notification to further enhance this, uh, the safety and security of their systems. Honda would also like to clarify that, that we were not affected by the XM author authorization flaw. We value our collaborations with security re researchers and appreciate their uh, team's assistance. Hopefully they got a big bug bounty for that. A lot of times when you find non vulnerabilities, company will pay you. Uh, Microsoft paid somebody 70K, I think a couple months ago. Uh, Sirius XM responded on 12.1. We take uh, security of our customers' account uh, seriously and participate in bug bounty programs to help identify and cor correct potential security flaws impacting our platform. As part of this work, security researchers submitted a report to Sirius XM connected vehicle service on an authorization flaw impact a specific program. The issue will resolve within 24 hours after the report was submitted. At no point was any subscriber or other data compromised, nor was any unauthorized accounts modified. So once again, they're pretty on top of it. And that's what I like to see is when you see bugs, you get them fixed uh, pretty quickly. But once again, Hyundai and a bunch of other cars are out there getting hacked. Uh, this flaw is being fixed. So hopefully nobody gets their car stolen over the holidays. Once again, Professor Black Ops, please subscribe.